A semi-paralyzed patient has shown promising improvement in his motor functions three months after undergoing a brain-computer interface implant in China. The 50-year-old is the first recipient of a BCI developed in China's clinical trials, and they are currently underway at Beijing's Tiantan Hospital, China's first brain-computer interface clinical and translational ward was opened earlier this year at the Tiantan Hospital in Beijing. Here, a 50-year-old former truck driver who was paralyzed on one side of his body was chosen as the first recipient for a Binao-1 BCI procedure, a semi-transplant, a transparent flexible electrode was implanted beneath his skull and against the dura mater surface, enabling real-time transmission of neural signals from the cerebral cortex to external decoding devices. Preoperative functional fMRI is used to locate the target area. We place the flexible electrode epidurally over the motor cortex and continuously verify during surgery that we are receiving clear neural signals. Only then can we ensure the success of post-operative signal acquisition, decoding, and limb motor control. After a few months of post-operative rehabilitation, the patient's upper limb mobility has shown significant improvement. BCI technology enables interaction between biological and machine intelligence by building information channels between the human brain and machines using a chip that can read neural signals from the brain and convey them to a computer. Scientists have been able to get afflicted patients to communicate, direct a computer, and even more. BCI is no ordinary clinical work as it involves computational science, computing, bioscience, and clinical practice. It is a multidisciplinary collaboration. For example, we work with the Chinese Institute for Brain Research, CIBR, and chip companies across different institutions. By establishing this ward, Beijing Tiantan Hospital has created a platform that integrates expertise in technology, computing, electrophysiology, and clinical imaging, connecting the entire chain of BCI clinical trials and accelerating progress in the field. Unlike Neuralink and other well-known BCI biotech companies in the West, China's BCI push has gone largely under the radar. It was brought back into the focus when a new policy document was released last month. The document outlined China's plan to create an internationally competitive BCI industry within five years. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.